Sly is a character that we all love, and yesterday at the Sony press conference, there was a big announcement, a brand new Sly game is coming out in 2012. Everyone saw the trailer, but they're wondering, well, what's the game going to look like? Well, now we have another exclusive here, a first look at the game. I'm here with Glenn from Sanzuru Games. Uh, now, this game is not being developed by Sucker Punch, but by you guys, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, got a really interesting story about that. Um, we we're huge fans of the Sly Cooper series. We loved all the old games on the, on the PS2, and uh, we were working with Sony back in 2008, and we were kind of like uh, thinking about what we we're going to do next. Yeah. And uh, we were seeing what was going on with Sucker Punch. They're working on Infamous, huge, epic, awesome game. And we're yeah. like, I don't think they're going to have time to make another Sly. Right. And we're like, I really want to play another Sly, you yeah. know? And, and so we went, we got ourselves a PlayStation 3 development kit. We put together a prototype. We went into Sony and pitched. We're like, hey, how about Sanzaru makes the next Sly Cooper game? Wow. Yeah. Well, it looks pretty good. I mean, it's great graphics, great engine. And yeah, Sly is a, you know, a famous character, obviously, in the PlayStation family, but has never been on uh, PlayStation 3 before. And there was even that teaser, I think, earlier this year that was teasing a, uh, another Sly. I have no idea how that happened. Exactly. But people <laughs> got really excited when they heard that. So this was a big announcement. So tell us about the gameplay. Uh, obviously, you know, is it, it looks quite similar to what we've seen in previous Sly games, but obviously much more epic here, right? The, the, the graphics and the style is similar, right? Yeah, we also worked on the Sly Cooper uh, Sly Collection, right. and so we really got to see all three of the original games just in minute detail, and really pick and choose the, the features that we really wanted to bring forward and uh -huh. bring up for the PlayStation 3. Okay. Uh, one of those was, uh, was boss battles. We really, really liked the kind of layered boss battles uh, from Sly Cooper 1, and we really wanted to just blow them out and make them into these sort of epic set-piece boss battles. Right. Uh, on uh, on Sly Cooper. So who are we battling against here? Uh, this is El Jefe. Now El Jefe is an uh, egomaniacal tin pot dictator. He's constructed a thousand foot structure of himself. And uh, Sly has chased him all the way to the very, very top and now I'm ready to confront him. Should we listen in here? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I guess that was it. All right, well, so this is a boss battle. Uh, so tell us a bit about you know Sly's moves and his abilities. Have they changed at all for this game? Um, well, we're uh, we're talking a little bit about uh, a new uh, a new feature we want to add, which is uh, uh, costumes. Okay. And in the previous games, uh, costumes were used as disguises. Oh wow! Uh, but here you can see he's he's got a suit of armor, and it's not only impervious to fire; it also comes with a shield that allows him to deflect the fireballs uh, that El Jefe is throwing at him. Um, and yeah, so. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's gonna. Hurt. That's good. <laughs> and uh, so you know these uh, these collectible costumes allow you to go back and play previously completed episodes, okay. and then you can unlock areas that you weren't able to get to wow. before using powers uh -huh. uh, that come with the costumes. Very cool. Now uh, people obviously want to know what other characters from the Sly universe are going to be a part of this. Uh, we see Sly here. I don't see anyone else. So uh, any word on who else is going to be joining the cast or well, still a part of the cast? Definitely, definitely talking about Sly, Bentley, and Murray. Okay, um, good. And just confirming that. Yeah, the game's coming out in 2012, so we've got a little bit of time. Got right. Some more announcements coming up in the next few months. So, uh, so Sly, Bentley, Murray, are they each going to be playable, or it's all going to be Sly, or how are you looking at that? Uh, they're each playable. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Um, all right. So we'll see levels from them, I'm sure, in the future. But mm -hmm. it was it was a big reveal yesterday, and. and Talk a bit about the the environment design here, because it looks like you're using obviously a lot of you know a lot of physical effects and things like that. So the levels are uh, are going to be pretty epic here. It looks yeah, like. I mean we really wanted to you know like I said before blow out the boss battles, a lot of level destruction, and the PlayStation 3 really affords the ability to just you know evolve uh, the art style, you know a lot more detail, a right. lot more lush organic environments. Uh -huh. But we're still staying really true to the original art style, the same sort of simple bold shapes and uh, rich colors, just mm -hmm. totally emblematic of this Light Cooper series. So is it all going to be full speed ahead action, maybe some stealth moments, and what can we expect in terms of gameplay variety? It's It's all the kind of gameplay that everybody knows and loves from the okay. Sly Cooper series. Okay. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just going to be a, a, a compendium. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you love the originals, get out there, play the collection again, yeah. get you know back into the swing of things, and yeah, this is really going to pick up by that those guys left off that's fantastic well it's great to see Sly finally on the PlayStation 3 tell me a bit about the storytelling because I think you know one of the things people love about the Sly series are the characters and the story uh, we saw cutscenes and things like that so what is the story of this game going to be well uh, we know how uh, Sly 3 left off uh, Sly Cooper is feigning his amnesia uh, he's become a leader uh, Murray is off racing monster trucks Bentley and Penelope have settled down to build a time machine 
Ah, but happily ever after is unraveling. Uh, the pages of the Thievius Raccoonus are disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. And so now he's going to have to get the whole gang back right. together, and they're going to set off on this epic mission to restore the legacy of the Cooper clan. Wow, very cool. Now, we've got tons of questions for you online. I think the fans could not believe that this got announced yesterday, so this is one of the, the most talked about subjects on Twitter and Facebook. Justine, you've been tracking it, but uh, the questions I hear are coming in fast and furious, right? They are. We have one here from Alliance Q. Uh, they want to know what you think of the new tech that was announced recently, the PS Vita and the Wii U, and how do you think you guys would use these devices? Well, I don't think you guys would be working on Wii U, but uh, <laughs> are there going to be anything for PS Vita for uh, Sly? Um, can't really say anything about that sort of stuff okay. just yet, but uh, yeah, please stay tuned. Good question. All right, on to the next one. All right, we have one here from Corey P. They want a limited edition full-size Sly Cooper cane. They love it. That is a really cool <laughs> idea. Perhaps I know some people that could help out with that. We had, nothing wrong with the cane. It is, a, it is a, a key sly item. All right, what, what other questions do we have? There we go. Um, we have one from Piven W on Facebook. Since Sucker Punch isn't working on the game, do they give you any advice or tips on keeping the sly vision consistent? Well, I, I wouldn't describe it as tips. I mean, we're really, you know, in constant communication with Sucker Punch. I mean, I just just saw them five minutes ago. Right. Um, you know, they're well, always... actually so excited that you guys are doing this. Yeah, and yeah. it was, you know, it was really good for them to see, see what we put together with the prototype, and they really felt comfortable with the idea, you know, based on what they saw, and also with us working on the Sly collection. So just on creative, uh, creative issues, we're always in contact with them. We're always talking about where we're heading with the series. Well, we cannot wait to hear more about it. I think we've got another one uh, online, Justine. Lots of questions for you. We do. We have one more Twitter question from Shooter213. I love the art style of this game, and I know it's been a few years, but what was the inspiration for the characters? Do you know? The original. Might be a sucker punch question, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I wouldn't want to put words in their mouth. Right. Um, well, are you, well, let me ask you something different. How have you sort of taken the characters of the world in a little bit of a different direction? Because obviously the Sly games were great back in the PS2 era, but you probably had to push in some, some new dimensions, right? Mm -hmm. Well, especially uh, a couple of things. I mean, with Sly, we've really kind of evolved him as a character a little bit. Right. He's a little older, he's a little tougher, yeah. but he's still the same suave, sophisticated Sly Cooper everybody knows and loves. So, uh, And then with Murray, we just want to make him tougher and bigger and stronger, just to get a real sense of his strength. You we know? haven't seen Murray yet, but I guess that's to come, right? Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Well, we cannot wait to see more of Sly. I'm sure we'll be up there uh, visiting with you guys for GTTV to get some more footage because this is a game that's going to be on our radar map for a long time. Awesome. Thank you Excellent. very much. Well, congratulations on the big announcement. That was exciting.